Kamusta kay vegan? It's me, Misha. So, you guys know I'm pretty new to this vlogging thing. Vlogging, rather. This vlogging thing, but I still wanted to try it out with my phone and a few equipment we have at home. But let's get started. For today's video, we'll be featuring some special beans. So, I'd like to thank our friends from Connector Coffee for sending this over to me just yesterday. They messaged me on Instagram and I was like, game, let's do this. Apparently, our bean for today is actually Geisha Naturals. Now, if you don't know uh, why am I so excited about Geisha beans, well, you should check out me, my other video on my personal account, which is at Michelud, which wherein I explain why Geisha Naturals is like royalty when it comes to coffee. So it's called Tinka Floripondio. So there's going to be tasting notes of orange blossom, papaya, berries, peach, and candy. So I'm pretty excited what we can get here. So they even actually left a very sweet short note. It says, hi Misha, enjoy the coffee and stay safe. Team Connector. Yes, I'm pretty excited. Let us get started. So our brew method for today is that we'll be using a Kalita 102. Of course, there's going to be a Kalita 102 filters. And for our other equipment, we have our hand grinder. This one is just from Shopee. It's very cheap. It does the job, but uh, I wouldn't really recommend it because you can actually find something better for a better price. And for the scale, we have the Bonavita. I actually won this from the AeroPress competition two years ago. I didn't win the competition. I just, uh, my group won the Blind Press competition, which is just an ice breaker game. And for our kettle, we'll have a fellow, the mini fellows tag. For grinding our beans, I have already set aside our water to heat up just so we can multitask. And since we're using our geisha, I wouldn't want to put too much coffee. So we're just going to be uh, using 15 grams. We turn our Bonavita scale on. And start. I place it off to make it fine. So, you know, it's been really cloudy lately, so, but I'm actually lucky I have a mini ring light to help me with the lighting here. So, this is my first video using this. And I'm pretty excited to make more content and not just about coffee, but more about other things as well. So, it's just like help. Actually, this is. I'm sorry, it's not medium fine, it's medium coarse. <laughs> but it smells it smells really good. It smells like a it smells like a berry, like a, a bit of a citrus type of berry. Is this such a thing? Yeah. Something like that to that effect. We got this. It's arm day. So, like I said, I don't really recommend using this this grinder in particular because I just got this for like, well, initially it was 800 pesos and then I got it on sale for half the price. At first it works okay. You just want to get the job done for home brewing, why not, right? But then after a while, I've noticed that there are inconsistencies with the ground grind size and that is not a good sign. As much as possible, if you want to brew better, you always have to make sure that you're consistent. Your grind size is always consistent. And this doesn't come out always consistent, so let's just hope for the best. But it's pretty good, you know, it does the job. It's ready, but I am cooling it down to around 85 degrees. Before brewing, you want to pre-wet our filter. So make sure you have folded first the sides of your filter and put it on our Kalita wave. I've got this filter from Yagam Coffee, which is in Baguio. They do uh, other coffee shops in some places like Coffee Lab and stuff like that. They also offer some of the filters. So always make sure to have a towel by your side so you can always clean up as you go. So we're 
filters pre-wet. Time to dump our beans on our pre-wet filter. Don't forget to always make sure that the bed is equally, that the coffee is equally distributed. So just stamp it a bit. Once that's set, we can start brewing. Our water is ready and time to brew. We'll be blooming this for 30 seconds with 30 grams of water. Oops, there you go. Another 30 grams. So we're just waiting until the time and until we reach 25 grams. Now, as you can tell, I'm actually just at home, but I really wanted to fix things up. But I'm not wearing any makeup because uh, my skincare routine pretty much makes it today. But it's all good. We're just at home. No pressure. So we're just going to wait. It's ready now at 2 minutes and 45 seconds. And we are already down to 180 grams. So by the time we hit 3 minutes, we're going to be start putting 210 grams. We're going to be doing our last pour by the time we hit 3 minutes and 30 seconds. I actually have a mini bowl ready here since I'm not by the kitchen so it's easier to dump things out. Okay, 225. There we go. And then we'll just wait for this until we reach 4 minutes of your time. By that time, we'll be making sure our space is still clean and tidy and that we're ready to dump out the coffee. This one, anytime, right after. So we have 5 seconds left before we're done brewing. Perfect. And we just have to turn this off and enjoy our coffee. Of course, it's time to taste your coffee. So we just gotta, you know, feel the aroma. Feel the aroma. You gotta smell the aroma. Feel it filling up our lungs. Mmm, it's warm. It's perfect for this really cloudy day. I swear, I wish it was sunny again. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It gets very sweet at the end, but at first sip, it's very delicate. So yes, I actually do taste the berries and the candy, especially the candy. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet at the end. I agree with the blossom. I do taste that as well. You know? I want to thank you again to Nectar Coffee for sending this over to me. I really enjoy it. I'm actually excited to try this out ice as well. But for now, with all of the weather and so forth, this is actually pretty perfect right now. And I know they do have other options to choose from. And I believe, I'm not sure exactly if they do nationwide shipping, but I know they do for Metro Manila. So if you're based in the metro like I am, then it's a lot easy. It's very easy to get a stash of them. Stash. We actually do have new beans, which is the Geisha. So once again, I want to thank Connector Coffee for sending this over to me. And I suggest you guys grab a bag as well. Actually, they're not make, they're not asking me to make a video. I just wanted to try it out and just show you guys how it went. You can order via their Instagram, which is at Connector coffee and you can also follow me which is at espressoni so that's e-s-p-r-e-s-s zero m-i and at michalud m-i-s-h-a-l-u-d so i got i hope you guys enjoyed this video even though you haven't tasted the coffee but if you do get this let me know how it goes i want to see how you guys do it as well thank you again for watching and maraming salamat